Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do with your cell, or you may want to do with your cell, is to cut a quarter of it out, like one of the quadrants, so that you can see inside of the cell, put the other cell particles there. So to do that, you want to basically divide it into quadrants. We can do that with the line tool. So we're going to click this thing that looks like a pencil. Now this green dot's important because it shows you when it's on an endpoint. So we need the top endpoint. I'm going to click and let go. And then I'm going to go down and find the bottom endpoint and click again. Now it doesn't really look like anything happened, but if you orbit around, you can see a light line that actually cut it in half. Um, and really, if I wanted half of one, I could click half of it and delete, and then I'm left with half a sphere. Um, and I'll show you how to take get rid of that lineman in a moment, but I'm not going to do that yet, so I'm going to undo. Um, you can see that it's still in, it's still cut in two. Now what I want to do is I want to go side to side. So I'm going to go with my pencil tool again, my line tool again. I'm going to use this endpoint and click. I'm going to go over here and find the opposite endpoint and click. And you can see there's a really subtle line again along here. So I've just split my sphere into four quadrants. If I click this quadrant and delete it, I now have something that almost looks like a Pac-Man. Um, but it's basically um, a sphere with a big chunk taken out. Now these lines aren't very attractive. To get rid of these, you can take the eraser tool, which has a funny square at the end of it. But that square is important. If I put that square of the eraser on this line and click, it erases that line. If I do the same here, put the square on that line and click, it erases that line. And now my sphere looks a little bit better. If I decide that I don't want the piece on top, maybe I just want half a sphere, I can also click this side now and hit delete. Now I just have a half a sphere. And you can make another sphere to put inside. Um, so as long as you go slow and do these things carefully, uh, it works out pretty nicely. I'm going to undo because I prefer to create my cell with this as my building model. So good luck with this. Uh, just play this video again if you need to. Don't be afraid to start over. Bye.